What's going on? So today we're going to be doing an install of a ProClip console mount on a 2019 Camaro ZL1. And I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max that I really have nowhere to put in the car when I'm driving. So I wanted a phone mount and ProClip had two options. They had this option, which is the console mount, which hooks on right here. Um, so it's not quite as up in front of you as I probably would prefer, but uh, it's definitely a better option than leaving it in the cup holder or leaving it on the seat or whatever, anything like that. And then they have the dash kind of option where it's gonna be mounted in the, in the dashboard area to the right. But uh, one of the only problems I have with the Camaro is that the field of view is so narrow. Um, I didn't wanna put especially an iPhone 12 Pro Max in front of me and block more view than there really already isn't much of. So I went with the console mount. Um, it looks pretty easy to install. This shouldn't be too difficult, but uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I did go ahead and do one thing before I started recording. I unscrewed the screws, the top and the bottom one, not the middle one, stretch it out a little bit. Um, you kind of slide your phone in and clamp it back down. I recommend leaving a little room. You don't want to push it all the way down because that's kind of how the phone actually holds itself in. And that's something I was a little worried about. It was like, I didn't understand how this clip works. You know, it looks like the phone's just going to slide right through. But the way it really works is as long as you clamp the phone where it's not all the way down here, about halfway, close this as much as you can, and then carefully take the phone out and then tighten these screws. There's a notch at the bottom where it's not open like the top. So on the bottom, it's got a little concave and that's where the phone kind of hits the bottom and won't go through. So as long as you clamp it and size it where it's only in the middle right here, you shouldn't have any problem. It should slide right in, stop at the bottom, and there you go. And it does feel very secure. It doesn't feel like it's gonna go anywhere. So that's that. That's the only thing I did so far. We're gonna unscrew the middle screw now and then go ahead and take this back plate and put it onto the base and screw that in there. My screwdriver is actually too big to get into this hole for these that I used. So I had to go and pick up uh, that target, just a couple little screwdrivers. So you just unscrew that a little bit. Uh, there is a screw still in there, don't lose that. And then here's the, uh, the plate that pretty much mounts on here. This is like the pivot plate that you're gonna mount on the base. So we're gonna go ahead and install these four screws so we can get this on to the base plate. The last one here. All right, so those are in, just gonna tighten them down. All right, so that's on there. And uh, the next step is just to clip this thing on. So we gotta take the blue tape off here on the adhesives that are included just to kind of help hold it in. So the thing with the directions is that it kind of tells you where you should put it, but obviously it's a little more difficult than it seems because there's not really necessarily a notch on your console here explaining where exactly it needs to be. So I'm kind of just eyeballing it, honestly, um, before I take the adhesive off. You got to find that sweet spot where it's going to finally clip in. There you go. And not pop back out, hopefully. Oh, there you go. So right there, that seems to be the sweet spot. Let's go ahead and take the adhesive off down here. And then the top one and then we're just gonna push it down there's a little gap on the back side here and I'm just trying to make sure that this is lined up it's kind of like just putting on a screen protector you know you got to make sure it's positioned properly on the screen this is about where it's supposed to be so I'm gonna push this in now so I'm pushing the back adhesive to it and then we're gonna push down and then actually get it slide it up a little if I can. All right, I think we got it. It's definitely feeling pretty good in terms of stability. Obviously, unless you're gonna be, you know, grabbing this thing, it shouldn't go anywhere with a, with a phone on it. No issue with that. Now I'm just pushing on the bottom, just pushing up a little bit, making sure that the adhesive on the bottom kind of just gets stuck there. All we gotta do now is we're gonna take the actual phone holder here and we're gonna go ahead and screw the screw that's built in to the mount 
into the back of the base uh, with the swivel ball on here. You just got to tighten it to uh, probably the point where you can move it still, but so that the phone won't cause it to move itself. So there it is. And now the iPhone 12 Pro Max, moment of truth. Look at that. And it's, it stops. As you can see, it doesn't fall through. And there you go. Uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max Pro Clip mounted on a 2019 Camaro ZL1. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this now. This is awesome. Don't have to worry about my phone flying around. I also got the charger. Of course, you could still use it because the bottom is entirely open. You know, you just clip it in. There you go. Uh, perfect. Couldn't ask for more. Great addition to the Camaro ZL1. And yeah, till next time, peace.